A city of nearly 3 million in China's Heilongjiang province braces for a second wave of virus cases. Several neighborhoods are now locked down. Entity's Tiffany Meyer has the details. Mudanjiang City only reported a handful of new cases of the CCP virus over the past few days, but it's still suspending 90 percent of scheduled trains with no specific notice on resuming service. Some schools are also closed again. On May 27th, Mudanjiang bus terminal was closed. At least nine neighborhoods are now locked down. A May 25th video shows workers preparing to seal the entrance of a residential building with an iron fence. The person taking the photo says it's scary. Another video shows them installing the gate. A police car is parked close by. The entrance to this neighborhood is blocked. Local resident Ms. Zhen told us she doesn't believe the official figures. She said there should be more cases because the situation is serious. Many restaurants reopened for a few days and then closed again. Authorities use health codes to track who may have been exposed to the virus. Ms. Zhen says many people in the area can no longer leave the city because their health code has been downgraded. I don't think it's only those few people who are infected. The government never reports accurate figures. The Internet here is too heavily regulated by the government. Some messages are blocked even before you see them. Many accounts are also blocked, many chat groups. Ms. Jin said many people, including herself, lost their jobs. There is no financial aid from the government, and she has to borrow money to make ends meet. Twitter recently fact-checked two of President Trump's tweets about mail-in ballots being vulnerable to fraud. Trump was outraged and accused the platform of political bias. The New York Post then pointed out the double standard to Twitter's spokesperson, saying dubious tweets by China's foreign ministry spokesmen weren't treated the same. The tweets from March claimed the virus began in the U.S. rather than China. Originally, the spokesman said the labels would not be added at this time. But after reflecting, China's foreign ministry spokesman's tweets were also labeled with warnings for viewers to get the facts about COVID-19. The New York Times is reporting that the U.S. will cancel the visas of Chinese grad students and researchers who have direct ties to China's military. The ban would affect around 3,000 students. This comes amid concerns of national security threats, especially in the scientific sector. But if passed, China could impose its own visa restrictions on American students. And the FBI issued a notice after Chinese scientists pleaded guilty to stealing trade secrets estimated at $1 billion from a U.S. petroleum company. The FBI says it's just the latest example of the Chinese regime's systematic campaign to gain economic advantage by stealing the innovative work of U.S. companies and facilities.